Welcome back to another video from Destination J to Z, RV News and Recalls, March edition of 2023. Let's talk RV industry news right now. Specifically, CoachNet Emergency Roadside Assistance. It has been purchased by Blue Compass RV as of February the 9th. They announced the acquisition of the CoachNet system. CoachNet will continue to operate as a separate business supporting all customers of CoachNet under its relationships with the OEMs, RV rental partners, dealers, and individuals. David Ostlin will continue as president of CoachNet and under his leadership in recent years, CoachNet has excelled to provide the highest quality roadside and technical assistance products offered in the RV industry while building a great culture aligned to provide exceptional work environment and customer experience. Oslin indicated that their team is excited to join the Blue Compass RV family. With the support of Blue Compass, they are positioned to continue developing the value added products and services for the RV members and key partners, including the OEMs, RV renters, and individual RV owners. To learn more about Blue Compass RV, visit www.bluecompassrv.com. Cummins will launch the next engine for the company's full agnostic series, the X10 in North America in 2026. The 10 liter displacement engine is named part of the X family and will replace both the L9 and the X12 used in motorhomes. According to Cummins, the new X10 diesel would emit 75% less nitrogen oxide emissions than required at launch in 2026. The diesel version will be the first available with the other versions following. Cummins launched fuel agnostic engines platforms using the engine blocks and core components that share the common design are optimized for low carbon fuels in 2022. Cummins indicated they are committed to advancing the diesel technology while the markets and the customers need it to run their businesses. The new X10 has been designed drawing on decades of experience as a leader in the medium and heavy duty space. Cummins indicated that they have applied those learnings to ensure the product will perform for the customers and important jobs that they need to do every single time. The X10 architecture uses belt driven high output 48 volt alternator and after treatment heater solution optimized for increasing stringent emission standards and will be scalable to other advanced combustible technologies. The engine is equipped with Acumen, which provides digital connectivity and direct immediate access to various applications and capabilities. These capabilities include over-the-air calibration and predictive service recommendation, just to name a couple. Talk about the RV market now. RVIA reported wholesale RV shipments started in 2023 slowly, but in line with the previous two months. The report contrasted earlier projections of much slower shipment production in January of 2023. RVIA survey of manufacturers determined that the wholesale RV shipments in January were 20,405. The figure is down a whopping 61.8% from January of 2022 with a record total of 53,351. However, January's wholesale shipment total rose slightly from the 19,907 wholesale shipments in January and was just down 17% from November 24,445 wholesale shipments. The RV industry, RVIA, is actually encouraged with positive news and high attendance at the RV show, specifically the Tampa RV Super Show in Tampa, Florida with strong reservation numbers reported by the campgrounds. Tool RVs led by conventional travel trailers ended the month down 66.8% January of 2022 with 16,117 shipments. Motorhome finished down 10.1% compared to January of 2022 with 4,288 units. Park models finished January up 64.8% compared with the same month last year with 547 total units being shipped. The Canadian Recreational Vehicle CRVA reported fourth quarter 2022 wholesale shipments were down 
44% from the fourth quarter of 2021. However, for the full year 2022 wholesale shipments were off just 2.7% from 2021 levels. In the fourth quarter, the CRVA reported 6,723 towable shipments, down 46.7% from towable shipments in the fourth quarter of 2021. Motorized shipments, motor homes, totaled 757 in the fourth quarter of 2022, up from 1.2% from the fourth quarter of 2021. For the year, towable RV shipments were down 4.5% from 2021, levels of 51,837 shipments. Of those, 42,846 were travel trailers and 6,881 were fifth wheels. Motor home shipments in 2022 totaled 4,315, up 25.4% from 2021 levels. Type B wholesale shipments totaled 892 for the year, outpacing type A shipments of 812. It's time for RV Resort Spotlight. DLP Capital, a private real estate investment and financial services firm, announced that it has acquired Ocala North RV Resort for a purchase price of $33 million. The Ocala North RV Resort, spanning 73 acres in the heart of Central Florida's horse country, consists of 385 sites for RVs and cottages, according to the release. Ocala is a pristine area known for having one of the most prolific equine industries in the world with 600 plus thoroughbred farms and training centers as well as featuring the Ocala National Forest which has hundreds of lakes, rivers, freshwater springs that serve as homes to manatees and hundreds of wildlife species. The region is increasingly popular natural playground for RV enthusiasts and vacationers, a new generation of RV resorts that are a far cry from the prior generation of Barabone Park. Ocala is located approximately 20 miles south of Gainesville, 90 miles northwest of Orlando. The Ocala North RV Resort is easily accessible, featuring frontage along I-75 at exit 368. RV interest rates. What's changed? GreatRVLoan.com up from 5.24 to 5.74 and 17.95 to 19.95. Good Sam, 11.99 to 19.95. The new lowest is 5.74 up from 5.24 at GreatRVLoan.com. It's time for our video spotlight now. It's the 2023 Newell Show Coach at the Tampa RV Super Show right here yes and it is available you can buy this coach for 2.5 million each mule is custom built from the ground up including the chassis that's in-house the chassis is designed and built specifically to be an rv from the beginning it's not a conversion the current wait time to get in line to order your own custom mule coach is about 16 to 20 months out be sure to check the video below in the description of this video for the link it's time for the RV YouTube channel spotlight. Today, we are spotlighting all about the banks. As you can see right here, their channel is a quest to live their best life and enjoy the journey and share it with you. They will show you how they enjoy camping, cooking, faith, hobbies. Their goal is to be a positive influence on you and to encourage you to live the best life and live happily and enjoy life. Link to their channel will be in the description of the video below. Be sure to let them know that you've seen it on Destinations A to Z with RV news and recalls. It's time for the most important segment, recalls. Starting off, we have Winnebago. Incorrect tar size on label, it's FMVSS 110. The incorrect tar size information could result in wrong tires being installed on the vehicle, increasing the crash risk. Potential number of units affected is 504. Winnebago is recalling certain 2023 Revell camper vans. The tar and loading information label has the incorrect tar size listed as R16 when the tar size should be R17. As such, these vehicles fail to comply with the requirements of the Federal Motor Vehicle Safety Standard number 110, tar selection and rims. Winnebago will provide a new correct label free of charge. Owner notification letters are expected to be mailed on March the 24th of 2023. 
Owners may contact Winnebago Customer Service at 1-641-585-6939 or 1-800-537-1885. Winnebago's number for this recall is 172. Remember, this information will be also provided in the link in the video description below. Newell Coach, battery disconnect switch may fail. A failed battery disconnect switch increases electrical shock and injury during maintenance or repairs. Potential number of units affected is 13. Newell Coach Corp is recalling certain 2023 P50 motor coaches. The battery disconnect switch may fail when the to disconnect the battery when turned to the off position. N Newell will remove and replace the battery disconnect switch free of charge. Owner notification letters are expected to be mailed out February the 8th, so you should have already received those. Nexus. Awning fabric may detach, causing the awning to drop. An awning that drops to, or extends beyond normal operation can increase an injury risk. Potential number of units affected is 103. Nexus RVs, LLC is recalling certain 2022 Triumph, Phantom, Viper, Ghost, Rebel, Wraith, Veranda motorhomes equipped with certain electric retractable awnings. The welded seam on the fabric may separate, potentially allowing the awning to drop beyond normal operation. Dealers will inspect and replace the awnings if necessary free of charge. The manufacturer has not yet provided a schedule for the recall notification. Force River. Gas top. Gas valves may fracture causing gas leak. A gas leak in the presence of an ignition source can increase fire risk. Potential number of units affected is 12. Forest River is recalling certain 2022 and 2023 Coachman Galera, 23 Coachman Beyond, 23 Nova Motorhomes equipped with the SDS2 two-burner drop-in cooktops with part numbers 3031 AST and 3032 AST. The internal aluminum burner tubes that connect the gas valves may fracture, causing a gas leak. Dealers will install a regulator support bracket free of charge. Owner notification letters are expected to be mailed out March the 21st, so be looking for those in the mail. The notification has not yet went out. ATC, another cooktop gas valves may fracture, causing a leak. A gas leak in the presence of ignition shorts can increase the risk of fire. Potential number of units affected, 757. ATC is recalling certain 2021 through 2023 toy hauler and Quest travel trailers equipped with the SDS-2 two-burner drop-in cooktops as well. The internal aluminum burner tubes that connect to the gas valves may fracture, causing a gas leak. This remedy is currently under development. Owner notification letters are expected to be mailed out April the 17th. So stop and think. You've got a whole month and a half there yet before the notification letters you're even able to receive. You may go ahead and contact ATC Customer Service at 1-877-441-2440, extension 342. ATC's number for this recall is 23E-002. Keystone, a fuel station controller may fail. A fuel station controller failure increases the fire risk. Potential number of units affected is 5,564. Keystone is recalling certain 2021 through 2023 carbon, fusion, impact, and Raptor travel trailers. The fuel station controller may fail. Dealers will inspect the circuit protection and install a 15 amp fuse and box to protect the fuel station controller free of charge. Owner notification letters are expected to be mailed out not until April 10th. So again, you're over a month away from your notification at the time of this video filming. Owners may contact Keystone Customer Service at 1-866-425-4369. Keystone's number for this recall is 23-439. Again, the link is in the description on the video below to provide you more information. Pleasant Valley tr Teardrop Trailers. Cooktop valves may 
fracture causing a gas leak. Potential number of units affected is 640. Pleasant Valley Teardrop Trailers LLC is recalling certain 2023 Teardrop TAB 320s and TAB 320 CSS equipped with certain SDS2 two burner drop in cooktops as well. Part numbers 3031 AST and 3032 AST. Again, the same burners. The internal aluminum burner tubes that connect the gas valves may fracture causing a gas leak. Dealers will replace the cooktop free of charge. Owner notification letters were mailed out February 10th. They are actually on top of it, so you should already receive those. Moving on to Winnebago. Again, cooktop gas valves may fracture causing a gas leak. Potential number of units affected is 9,720. Winnebago Industries is recalling certain 2020 through 2023 Solus, 2021 through 2023 Travados, and 2022 and 2023 Echo Motorhomes equipped with certain suburban manufacturing company SDS2 two burner drop in cooktops. Again, the part number is 3032 AST. The internal burner tubes that connect the gas valves may fracture, causing a gas leak. Winnebago will work with Suburban to repair the cooktop free of charge. Owner notification letters are expected to be mailed out March the 24th, which is still a few weeks away. With all these recalls due to gas leaks, you may want to consider a precautionary measure. Gas stop is an emergency 100% shut off for device for bottled and portable gas systems. In the event of a major leak, gas stop will instantly and automatically shut off the flow of gas. Not only is this device an easy fit, autonomous must have safety device, it also is a useful multi-purpose gas pressure indicator. This will fit all RVs with propane. You can even get one to use on your gas grill. It's that easy. Use gas safely, use gas stop, and ease your worry with your family in case of a major gas leak. You can save 10% from destinations A to Z with the coupon code below. The coupon and the link will be in the description of this video below. With all these gas leaks, you want to make sure your family is protected and you have no worries in case there is such a gas leak. Moving on with the recalls, we're still not done. Shift group, software error in a vehicle control module. A sudden loss of drive power or reduced visibility from loss of headlights or windshield wipers can increase the crash risk. Potential number of units affected is 2,336. Shift group is recalling certain 2022 through 2024 Spartan RV K1, K2, K3, K4 motorhome chassis. A vehicle control module software error may cause loss of power or loss of key safety functions, such a loss of headlights or windshield wipers. The shift group will update the vehicle control module software free of charge. Owner notification letters are expected to be mailed out on February the 23rd, so you should already receive those. Owners may also contact the Shift Group customer service at 1-800-237-7806. Shift Group's number for this recall is 23-01. Thor Motor Coach. Owning may extend unintentionally. An awning extending unintentionally during the transit may become a distraction or road hazard, increasing the crash risk. Potential number of units affected is 741. Thor Motor Coach is recalling certain 2022 through 2023 Rise, Scope, and Camper Vans. These retractable awnings may extend unintentionally during transit. The remedy is currently under development. They still don't have the fix. Owner notification letters are expected to be mailed out not until April the 7th, so about a month away. Owners may contact Thor Motor Coach Customer Service at 1-877-855-2867. The recall number is RC000289. Jayco, incorrect dinette seatbelt brackets, FMVS S210. During a crash, loose seat belts may not restrain the passengers as intended, increasing the risk of injury. Potential number of units affected is only 20. 
Jayco is recalling certain 2023 Red Hawk SE motorhomes. The 9 inch rear facing seat belts have the incorrect brackets installed, which can cause the brackets to loosen. As such, these vehicles fail to comply with the requirements of the Federal Motor Vehicle Safety Standard Number 210, Seat Belt Assembly Anchorages. Dealers will replace the belt brackets free of charge. Owner notification letters are expected to be mailed out March the 20th, so in a couple of weeks. Owners may also contact Jayco Customer Service at 1-800-283-8267. Jayco's number for this recall is 990-3584. Also from Jayco, vehicle roll away from guide bushings fatigue. Vehicle roll away increases the crash risk. Potential number of units affected is 2,845. Jayco is recalling certain 2019 through 2023 Integra Launch, Launch LE, Quest, Jayco Melbourne, and the Melbourne Prestige, Terrain, and the Terrain LE Motorhomes. The guide bushing on the parking pole may fatigue, which causes the parking pole not to engage, resulting in a vehicle rollaway. Dealers will update the software of the Electronic Stability Transmission Control Direct Select Module and Electronic Ignition Switch Control Units free of charge. Owner notification letters are expected to be mailed out on March the 22nd of 2023 in a couple of weeks. Owners may contact Jayco Customer Service at 1-800-283-8267. Jayco's number for this recall is MB Mary Baker 22 Vias and Victor-796. There you have it, guys. That's the March edition of the RV news and recalls from destinations A to Z. As you can see, there was a lot of RV recalls on there this month. You never want to see that. You never want to receive a letter for that. But we are providing you that information each and every single month. And all the links will be in the description of the video below. Also, with all these gas leaks, don't forget to visit diversifiedpower.com. The link will be provided in the description below for gas stop to make sure that your family is safe from a potential gas leak even before you get your RV fixed. It's a simple fix, simple install, takes all of five minutes to do. And it literally goes in between your gas tank and your gas line as you've seen in, in the video. Guys, I hope you like this video. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to share this out as other RVers may have the same RVs that we just mentioned in our recalls. Make sure that they are safe, make sure they're getting the information that they need to keep their families safe. And as always, we're gonna be bringing you all the information that we can every single month. Make sure you are informed. Remember guys, we will see you on the next one.